Hello people YouTube, how are you today? It's me, Abby, and I know Mama's looking a little bit messed up right now, like, I know, I get it. I actually just washed my makeup off, I got done filming the Franken highlighter video, and I'm thinking, I just bought a new foundation today, I'm gonna film it, you know? And I kind of wanted to, like, show you my face before, because I realized when I did the L'Oreal, I never showed you, like, my face before so you can get a accurate look to what's kind of going on you know with the whole situation kind of deal and I'm like I should do that I should do a video or show you guys what I am doing to my face and hopefully you guys enjoy it but like like let me just show you my skin right now before we start I never wait I never even showed you the foundation today we are going to be testing out the wet and wild Photo Focus Stick Foundation. I have never used a stick foundation in my life. So I'm very scared at the moment. Like, no joke, terrified, scared. Don't like using stick foundations ever. Like, never, I know, I can't say that because I've never used it, but I've seen horror stories about stick foundations that they never work, they don't like to blend, or the only good ones are super expensive. So everybody's raving about this, so let's try it out. <laughs> Hey guys, how are you guys doing? Okay, I'm putting the foundation on, and like I said, I've never used a stick foundation before, so I decided I wanted to use my Real, Te Real Technique sponge to blend it in, and I'm, like I said before in a couple videos ago when I did another foundation review, that I was using my mirror on the side so I could see what I was doing, and I'm sorry, my camera is like going out of focus this, this entire time, which really sucked, so I'm sorry about that. I'm using my um, Shape Tape Concealer to blend everything in, um, you know, I love that concealer. Again, I'm going out of focus. Sorry about that. But it seems to be blending in with the foundation really nicely. I really liked how it was looking. It was a really good color match for me, the foundation. And my concealer was blending in very, very well. And I thought I was looking flawless, you know. And then I'm using my Cody Airspun Powder and Extra Coverage Translucent to bake and set my entire face. And it really turned out good. Hey, guys. I just got done with my makeup. What do y'all think? Um, I just wanted to keep it simple. I wanted to do really bright blue lip. But I, so I didn't do any eyeshadow, but, um, this foundation is actually, it, ooh, like this lid I don't like, it keeps popping off, like, it comes off really easily. I just, I just ruined it. Great. But what I was trying to say was, like, it feels, ex like, it doesn't feel like anything on the skin, but I did mess up right now. Because I grabbed my wrong setting spray, which is the dewy one from Milani, and it's a little too dewy. So I'm like repowdering and all that stuff. So I don't know. I think I just glupped it up. We'll get to seeing if it looks okay at the very end, you know? But this is how it looks right now. You can still see a little bit of pores, but not that much. This one is much more full coverage than I thought. My eyebrows are looking okay. Uh, no creasing so far. I'll let you know in a couple hours what's going to be going on hey guys okay i've been wearing the foundation now for about four hours and it is definitely creasing in my eyes right now it's really windy so i'm all watering out of one eye so that's partly my fault but i don't like it so far like it's holding up real well but i don't like it because it's making my eyelids look really wrinkly it's creasing around the nose and for some reason i'm having problems around my mouth with my lipstick and it's like coming off and i wear this lipstick a, a couple a while and it, shouldn't, it never does this. And it's coming off of my chin. And I haven't been touching my chin. My nose kind of looks a little cakey. But it's not that bad of a foundation. So I've tried worse. But I'll keep you updated. Hey guys. I'm back um, with my final check-in. I had to take the foundation off. Something was happening. And I don't know what happened. But let me just explain something real quick. Um, I took it about, off about 15 minutes ago. I took a shower. Washed my body. Washed my face and the um I, I think i don't know how to explain this i don't think it's the foundation's fault about what happened like let me explain what was been what's been going on like i used my make it dewy setting spray by accident when i meant to grab my make it last one just the regular one to set it because that's usually the setting spray i always use this one i only use when i want to have a little bit of a dewy texture but i was spraying it all over my face like i would with my normal sun spray if i use this one i just like two two three sprays but when my make it last one i go 
I go ham, you know? So I think that's what fucked my foundation up. It wasn't, like, like I remember immediately after, I'm like, fuck, it's, like, looking cakey. Why is it coming off? I repowdered all that stuff. I didn't want to take it off because I had to leave. I was going to hang out with some friends. I was able to make it work. It looked a little nicer, you know? I, you guys saw how it ended up looking. I ended up putting my blue lipstick on, and it was getting really windy outside. My eye was watering. It came off right here. And then, like, for some reason, it was just... My eyes were irritating the hell out of me. Like, I don't know what I did, but they were irritating me so badly the entire time. Like, they kept watering. I was having trouble opening them. I just wanted to go like this. But, you know, when you have makeup, you don't want to ruin it, especially when you're hanging out with friends. But I don't think it's the foundation's fault because, like, it's like this, found, this setting spray has irritated my skin before. But it's only if I use it, like, that, that, that. Because I remember once... I did run out of setting spray, and they did not have the Make It Last one, so I got this one and used it, and my skin was be feeling irritated before, but if I do it in, like, little pumps, it doesn't feel as irritated. I, I can handle it, but I think because I did do that setting spray, I think it fucked up, fucked with the foundation and my primer and everything else, and it, I, it didn't give it a fair shot. I'm going to have to try it again in the future because... It was, before I put that setting spray on, it was looking really well, and it was wearing a little bit well for a while, actually, but then, like, just right now when I got home and I was hanging out with my dad for a little bit, I was dying, like, I need to get this off, like, it's, it feels heavy, it's, like, like, it's coming off on my nose, my mouth, like, my lipstick looked terrible, like, I don't know what happened with my lipstick, too. My lipstick never comes off. Like, I know how to make sure it doesn't come off. And usually, like, Kat Von D, like, I was wearing my Kat Von D one, the the navy. I can't remember the name of it. But I was wearing that, and it was doing so good for the longest time. But then, all of a sudden, like, it, I come home, and it's patchy everywhere. And I didn't even eat that much. And I reapplied. So, like, and my corners were, like, spreading out. That has never happened. So, I don't know what's going on. Like, literally, I have a scar right here. I've told you about that. And you can't see it on camera, but in real life, you can see it very well. But I have a scar on both sides of my mouth, so sometimes it does come into the scar, and it does, like, come outside of my, like, my outer lip a little bit. But if I just go, you know, problem solved. For this time, though, it just kept coming off, and my lipstick just felt heavy. Um, my face just, I, like, I wanted to die. Like, I wanted to scratch at my face. But I don't think it's the foundation's fault. I feel like... It's the setting spray and the fact that I overdid it and then I had to repowder and all that kind of stuff. I need to give it another go. I didn't. I don't think I gave it another go. But I also don't know how the foundation is actually wearing because I did see, even before I put the setting spray, there was just a little bit of pores, but it wasn't enough like to bother me because I do have some really big pores and I don't really use a pore-filling primer. But usually with the foundation I've been using that I've been loving, you know, the L'Oreal one that I tested in a, a couple videos ago, it was working really, really well. But... It, and it, like, made my skin really smooth. But I, I just don't know right now. I, I've never used a stick foundation. I think I need to try it with, like, a brush, all this. I think I'm going to leave this undetermined. Like, I can't give it a positive review, but I also can't give it a negative review because I don't think I gave it a fair shot. So I'm going to use it for the next couple weeks when I have to do my makeup. And I will let you know on my um, makeup Instagram um what it has been going on if i like it and what's been you know so if you want to check that out links in the description down below you know shameless plug you know check out my beauty instagram you know see all the products i get to use the makeup looks you know i'm trying to get into like doing the instagram like stories i've never like watched it or gone into it until now like i'm very rarely on instagram unless i'm like posting pictures of makeup or my baby nephew so I'm, like, trying to get into it and, like, do more product reviews. In fact, that you know, I bought a lot of, what I like since I bought that Wet n' Wild stick foundation, I also got their, um, Rebel Ro some of the Rebel Rose stuff. And I'm trying to get, like, the serum primer to try out, so, you know, we'll see what, we'll see what happens, which I'm, ho like, I'm trying to get it. I can't find it in stores, but when I do, I'm going to get it, and we're going to try it, and let's hope that we like it. But in the end, um, I'm going to say, like, this foundation, I don't hate it. I don't love it. I'm going to try it again to see if it's either or. So. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video of me trying the new um, Wet n' Wild Stick Photo Focus Stick Foundation. I 
you know, I told you I, it's undetermined right now that I will be letting you know on my makeup Instagram within the next couple weeks if I hate it or if I like it, you know. Let's see which one it falls under. But I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember to leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe. Click that little bell icon to see more videos from me. And I know I look fucking crazy right now. I haven't put my skincare on. And my lips are stained from blue lipstick. You're just gonna have to deal with it. You're just gonna have to deal with it. But I hope y'all enjoy this video. Good night. Bye! Hey guys, I forgot to mention this, but... I, um, in total wore the foundation for about five, six hours, and I'm having a big problem with my skin. Look at this. I'm getting red kind of dots everywhere, so I don't, I, I don't know what's going on right now. I'm, I'm definitely going to try the foundation again because I don't know what's going on, but because I just put them, their new, um, what is it called? toner on my face but I'm gonna have to try each product out again because I don't know what's going on like I am allergic to a couple things but I like I told you the foundation was kind of irritating me today and I can't give it a heads up because I don't know exactly what happened I think it was like the setting spray but also the fact that I have used the liquid version before and I mentioned how it's like my favorite foundation but this one hasn't been working for me like this one, I, 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 like I said, I can't get, I'm undetermined, but it, I don't think it's going to work. I don't under. I don't think it's going to work. I'm not like too hyped up about it because I've never got like such severe redness and all these little like dots and stuff, unless I'm having like an allergic reaction to something. So I, I don't know. I'll, you know, I'll, I'll keep you updated on my makeup Instagram. Hey guys, it has been like two, maybe three weeks later since I have tried the foundation, the Wet n Wild Stick Foundation, and I do, okay, do not mind that giant pimple right there, that is a monster of a beast, but the foundation itself is actually really good. I think it was the setting spray because I did spray so much of it, and I don't really use that setting spray often. It's only when like, like I get really, really, really dry around my mouth and stuff, and, like, under my nose, I'll use it, that setting spray, to make sure, like, it doesn't get cakey, or you can see, like, dry patches. And that's the only time I ever really use that setting spray. But I accidentally grabbed it that one day and sprayed it. And I think that's why my skin was just, like, irritated. And, um, you know, I do like the foundation. I am gonna say that right now. I do really like the foundation. But I do not believe that it's a foundation that you wear all day. Like, it's not one of those long-wearing, all-day foundations. I believe it's like, oh, you're going to go out to uh, dinner with some family, but you want to put a little bit of makeup on kind of foundation. Like, maybe one to five hours at most, you know? Because I wore it again, and I wore it for about ten and a half hours. And by that time, it was already peeling off around my nose. My eyes were creased. Um, my under eyes were creased. It was coming off of my chin. So I just would say, like... If you're going to get the stick foundation, it works. It's like medium to full coverage. It feels nice on the skin, but it's not long wearing. So take that as you may. Have a great day. Bye, guys.